Can you paint jig heads with dollar store nail polish? This week on Kayak Hacks. Another dollar store test. What we want to look at today is will dollar store nail polish provide a good paint covering for jig heads. Ready to paint. Let's get to it. Okay, it's been a couple days. These jig heads that I've painted up with the dollar store nail polish are all dry. And so now it's time for the two tests to see if they're any good. The first is the rub test. And it looks like the stuff does not rub off, so it's sticking pretty well to the lead. And the second test is the sniff test. Will these still smell like nail polish? So I'm going to take a sniff. I can still detect the scent of the nail polish, even though my fingers are probably covered with Procure from fishing out here for a while. So I'm not sure these things are going to work. I read in Field and Stream or Outdoor Life, one of those magazines, that bass don't mind the smell of gasoline. So we'll see if the bluefish that are out here, or the trout, mind the smell, even though it may be a little bit faint, of the nail polish. Yeah, I can definitely smell it. So I'm going to give these things about 10 casts, and we'll see. But you can see that they ended up being pretty nice. Nice and speckled. I think I'll try this one with all the, the little dots in it. So let's check it out. Okay, I'm going to go big. This is a one half ounce jig head. Pretty big grub. I'll get a good cast out there into the channel and we'll see what the nail polish smell does. Does it attract them or repel them? I am absolutely flabbergasted. Been out here fishing for about an hour. Put on the jig head with the dollar store nail polish on there. Caught a little short flounder. Got to get this back guy back in the, the water, but uh, holy mackerel, maybe that nail polish is an attractant when combined with Procure. Got to be kind to the fish, as my buddy Chris at OD5 says. Get this guy in the water. I can still smell that nail polish on this green one. I'm going to douse it in Procure, and we'll see if this does as well as Mr. Speckles here. Yeah, I can still smell it, but that flounder ate it. Well, we'll see. So this is the end of the experiment. I've tried the three different colors of the dollar store nail polish, and while it appears to be tough enough and not coming off, even when bounced across the uneven bound, uh, bottom of the inlet, the smell is still very noticeable. I was about to call this a no-go for the smell, but then a couple days later, I gave it another sniff and everything was okay. So, I think this is going to work.